Daria is an iconic animated show, highly regarded as an embodiment of youth culture of the late 90s. However, a reboot slash sequel has been in production for the past few years, leading to many debates among fans of whether Daria could be rebooted, let alone should or should not be rebooted. If you're watching this video with a strong opinion on this question, I think that's great. I think that means you're a big fan. But through my research on this topic, I encountered a lot of eye-opening responses that I think the most hardcore or clueless fans will find interesting. In this video, I'm going to quickly go over the premise of Daria in case you're not familiar, and I'll discuss what we know so far about the reboot, why it should be rebooted, and why it should not be rebooted. So if you're not familiar with Daria, and you're not sure why this is a big deal, Daria is a show about a misfit teenager named Daria who goes to high school in a late 90s suburb. She's smart and cynical and very sarcastic, and along with her best friend Jane Lane, they do their best to survive school, predatory corporations, as well as their vapid classmates, often with as little effort as they possibly can give. There really isn't anything like Daria, especially at its time of release. Daria came out in a time where her pessimism and sarcasm weren't nearly as much the status quo. She was an outlier in this, and this attitude often proposed the question, what is there to be so negative about? And this is really important to keep in mind, because the big question whenever Daria is mentioned in the present is, should there really be a reboot? I'd love to get your opinions afterwards, getting feedback on this topic. Every comment and share really means a lot to me, not just for algorithm purposes or whatever, but because I really want to interact with people on these topics more than anything, and I think you'll walk away from this video with a broadened perspective, regardless on where you stand on this issue. Part 1. What we know about the reboot so far. This reboot has been known since as far back as like mid-2018. It's definitely gone through several changes, and honestly, I don't follow it too closely, but it seems to have started about Daria and Jody as they enter the workforce. This quote from 2018 states the following, These two smart young women take on the world, with their signature satirical voice while deconstructing popular culture, social classes, gender, and race. Now hold on, hold on, don't be scared. I know that rubs some people the wrong way, there's a lot of words in that quote that people don't like for whatever reason, but honestly, why not? Daria has always kind of been about these things. Some people were nervous this was going to be a preachy, quote unquote, woke feminist show, but honestly, Daria has always been, quote unquote, woke. You could argue gender roles and sexuality weren't too big of a focus in the original, and Jody was one of two black characters in the main cast. But Jody and her position in a predominantly white school was a pretty big deal in the later seasons. The end of Daria has a big plotline of Jody debating whether to go to a very highly regarded college or to an HBCU. So I don't know, I think if people think the original Daria wasn't really progressive or feel that if this may be forced diversity or wokeism, I think they'd be incorrect or didn't really care too much for the original show, but I understand some people just fear this would be forced in a corporate woke kind of way that isn't terribly genuine, and I can really understand where these people are coming from. Another thought people had was where's Jane? Honestly, it would be interesting to see Jane still, but I don't think it would be nearly as interesting as seeing Jody for me. In terms of production, it seems this started as a show about Daria and Jody, then turned into a show just about Jody, and now it's just a movie about Jody. Honestly, I think this is fine. As much as I love Daria, we don't really need to see more of her. Jody being in the workforce is a totally fine concept, and one that actually could be explored further. It's especially relevant in 2022, as women in tech often encounter harassment and sexism and whatnot. Not to say that this would be the focal point of the show or anything, but I do think it would be cool to see a show about women in tech and how Daria's staff would explore this issue. I don't know if the production of the 2022 Beavis and Butthead movie influenced these decisions at all for what the Daria spinoff slash reboot has become, but one interesting thing to mention about the Beavis and Butthead movie is that it started as a live action movie before becoming an animated movie. Maybe it's because the plot and emotions are a bit less complex in Beavis and Butthead Butthead, but I don't really see much about Beavis and Butthead being a product of its time that couldn't be recreated, and they had music videos like Baby Got Back. But yeah, people say Beavis and Butthead is timeless, but Daria is a show that is a product of its time, yet is highly applicable to modern society, so I find this dichotomy kinda interesting. 
There's always the Daria live action trailer from College Humor with Aubrey Plaza, and I love Aubrey Plaza, and I think she looks pretty good as Daria. But I don't know, the trailer doesn't make me say, but I want it now. <laughs> And in some ways, this trailer solidifies for me why a reboot wouldn't work for several reasons. Daria goes up to give her speech and it's her typical pessimistic drab, but in the actual show, Daria ends with her being a little bit more optimistic and whatnot when she makes the class speech. The truth and a lie are not sort of the same thing, and there's no aspect, no facet, no moment of life that can't be improved with pizza. Thank you. It wouldn't be unlikely a reboot would somewhat deliberately push back on a lot of the characters' developments they went through in order to preserve the character traits we knew them for in the show's earlier stages. But this is kind of why a reboot makes little sense. Characters would go back on their development for the sake of being recognizable. And if they are their new developed selves, there's not really a point to have anymore. Like, I feel like they really covered everything. Before we get into the shoulds and should nots, I'd like to quickly mention some interesting ideas for reboots slash sequels people mentioned online. I see a lot of comments talking about a show revolving around the future generation, especially Quinn as a mother, which is interesting, especially given how much more character development Quinn goes through towards the end of the show. One idea I would have never thought of is Six Sad World as a show. That's really funny, I always love seeing the Six Ed World segments during episodes. However, I think this would end up being more of a skit show, and given how short they were, I struggle to see the longevity of this show. But given how much more short form content exists out there with social media or like TikTok, who knows, it could work really well. Probably more in tandem with an actual show or movie so that it could kind of double to promote the Daria reboot sequel or whatever. From outer space to in our face, aliens walk among us! A six ad world exclusive. Damn it. Damn it. Part two, why the Daria reboot should exist. So I've gone a little bit over why a Daria reboot doesn't make a ton of sense, and I know a lot of people are very adverse to the reboot. However, I think there are several reasons why this should exist. Maybe these reasons are a little more of a silver lining than a net positive, but regardless of where you stand on a potential reboot, I think there are some interesting points to consider, or to at least hear out. First, it would be really interesting to see Daria's approach to modern issues, especially with how Daria handled situations in the late 90s, such as corporate disenfranchisement, artistic integrity, even a darker topic such as eating disorders. In 2022, I believe all these topics are impacting people at even higher rates than back in the late 90s. So this leads me to my initial questioning, why is this a product of its time if it's so relevant today? Okay. I bet that's a two-way mirror. Here's you mean if you turn out the lights, you can see a, through it? Oh, you don't want to do that. Ooh, cool. The focus group is a very important tool in mall management. We thought that with this live demonstration... I feel used. One of the very few things people think could be added to Daria would be more diversity among the cast. There's like one non-straight character in the show, and she's kind of predatory in a way. She tries to convince Jane that she gives off gay vibes in an effort to sleep with her. This character is bisexual and sleeps with this counselor guy to further her position among the staff. And there's nothing inherently wrong with this premise for a character, but when this is the only gay or bi character in the whole show, it doesn't give the best impression. Following this tangent, the reverse side of this is Jody and Mac, the only only two black characters of the main cast. Jodi is one of the most interesting characters of the whole show, rivaling Daria in my opinion. I feel used. I feel abused. I feel that this is not a fun mall after all and the media should be made aware of it. Oh right, little lady. Here's a coupon for a free frozen yogurt. Don't insult me. Make it a $10 merchandise coupon? You're still insulting her. Okay. A $20 merchandise coupon for everyone in the class. You don't get it. There's a principal involved. No, there isn't. She's a perfect student, part of many clubs and extracurricular activities, perfectionist who also feels she has to be the perfect version of herself to fit in, not only with her father's expectations, but as the perfect presentable black student among her peers. There's also Mac, who is a bit more quiet, chill, and respectful, but this almost comes off as sterile in a way. I read something about Mac being considered the hardest character to write on the show, and it makes sense. He doesn't really have a full character in some ways. Everyone else 
else in the school has so many flaws, Max's football teammate Kevin being so stupid, the cheerleader Brittany and her often fake stupidity. You know, we're getting a new scoreboard and a whole bunch of equipment out of this deal. And new pom-poms and everything! And all you have to do for it is name your firstborn after Ultra Cola. What? You weren't gonna call him Kevin Jr., were you? Oh, Kevy! I hope you're not disappointed! Ultra! Ultra Thompson! Now, starting from the Miami Dolphins, a quarterback! Ultra Cola Thompson! Hooray! Yeah, that's cool. Even one-note characters like Upchuck, the Creep, or Daria's sister Quinn's group of friends, who are especially vapid. But Mac doesn't really have flaws. Some people think the writers might have been a little too scared to give Mac too many flaws as one of the two only black characters of the cast, but I don't know if I would agree that that's the reason. But I think he is a bit dry and underdeveloped as a character for sure. Speaking of Quinn's friends, there's two Asian Americans in the show, fashion club member Tiffany and the principal, Miss Lee. Tiffany speaks really slowly, which people think may be deliberate. Oh. You're that girl from Quinn's house. Are you getting counseling too? I'm the counselor. It's volunteer work to help the socially challenged. And Principal Lee is seen in a lot of ways similar to Daria's mother Helen, but a lot more um, dishonest and profit oriented. There are some background characters we see, but I don't think any have lines throughout the show. I want to end the pros for a Daria reboot with the question I'd be interested on your feedback on. Does Daria's applicability to modern situations justify a reboot? I will say I'm not a huge fan of reboots, but it's an interesting topic, and I'd like to think I've learned quite a bit just on writing and story and reception overall from all the feedback I've gotten asking around about this topic. So thank you everyone who has given feedback on this. I really appreciate it. Also, you know, I guess I should mention that Daria is a spinoff of Beavis and Butthead. In your campaign, you promised to help every young person get a college education. Did you mean that? Or were you just jerking us around? Daria is cool. So I actually have read some people saying this same sentiment that we feel about this new Daria reboot slash sequel was somewhat felt about the original Daria being created. People thinking, oh great, a spinoff of that one side character from Beavis and Butthead. Also, why her? She's drab and boring. Also, we'd get more Daria, isn't that cool? I mean, even if this is the worst show to ever exist ever, I kind of don't think it would affect the legacy of the original show. If if anything, it might actually just prove the points of the original uh, even further. So whether it's good or bad might just be a win-win. Part 3. Why a Daria reboot should not exist. So I asked around online and to friends and looked up so much stuff about why people feel a Daria reboot slash spinoff should not exist. I will say, at first I thought this perspective was very blind to the applicability of Daria in modern society. But as I dug deeper and deeper into the reasons why Daria shouldn't exist, there was one thing I read that truly enlightened me. But in order for this comment to have weight, I want to quickly go over the main reasons why people feel this reboot should not exist first. First, Jody as a concept for a show has people believing this reboot may come off as an insincere capitalization on our social and political climate. Her characteristics and beliefs against authorities and regarding race could be seen as some corporate woke profit chase. This is a point I feel really conflicted on, because I like the idea of Jody tackling these issues. I think it would be cool, and Jody oftentimes calls stuff out in the original that feels so satisfying to watch. And it is important for me to mention when people say this would be, you know, woke or corporate woke TM. This isn't necessarily people being anti woke or against the idea of being progressive. In fact, I would say a lot of Daria's audience is quite aware of how progressive the original show is, but in a reboot like this, it may come off as forced, preachy, or have a weird corporate, broad sterilization. 
This is just speculation from people, but I think it is a relatively likely scenario, and is a big reason why people are against the idea of a reboot. One of the issues of turning Jody into a potential Gen Z tech worker just graduating from college is that it just seems a bit odd and doesn't make sense when you consider the original show that centered around the disconnect felt from teens in the late 90s to their fellow peers and society, which is why people often suggest that the staff should just create a new show in the essence of Daria for this generation, as opposed to trying to Frankenstein a reboot of a show revolving around the 90s into the current day 2020s. I'll get more to that point later regarding the combination of different eras of time though. Also, I highly doubt they would go through the effort or potential audience disconnect of having the spin-off take place in the early 2000s. The difference in technology alone would be such a headache to account for, I feel. As I've already mentioned, the original Daria is woke in my opinion, but I think people feel in 2022 how commercialized and corporate the animation industry has become, along with our political climate, would create socio-political rhetoric in a way that is not genuine. But I feel these sentiments can exist in a genuine way personally, but I understand the skepticism of fans. Hey, did you hear what Mrs. B called the mall? Mm, yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. You think it would dishonor Dr. King's memory if I went to sit in the back of the bus? So the enlightening big point that I had not considered before writing and researching for this video is that Daria's attitude doesn't work as much now as it did in the 90s. That may sound odd, but I've read a few interesting comments that really helped me understand this. Liz G1312 says, The show is very 90s, which is good, but it also leads to grating moments sometimes. The biggest thing that comes to mind is how the show treats Daria's disaffection. She's the voice of a generation, and in the 90s, that voice was pretty damn cynical about any involvement at all in society. Having a hobby, being involved in politics, really being passionate about anything is taken as a sign of being vapid or a lack of intelligence. It can be especially frustrating because Daria has a pretty decent life. She's well off, has a mostly loving family, and has opportunities fall in her lap. It can come off as spoiled and sheltered at times. To be fair, the show does call her out once in a while especially in the later seasons, but more often than not, it agrees with her. An example I think of opportunities falling in Daria's lap, or her coming off as sheltered, is like Daria complaining to her family that the school board's holding a conference during the Super Bowl about all the soda vending machines and advertisements that will be added to the school. Daria complains and Helen is like, I'm going to a Super Bowl party, if you care so much, why don't you go to the meeting yourself? And that point leads me to the point in which I really felt I understood the feelings of the fans. User Beef Pie Soup Dang says the following. I feel like a live action Daria wouldn't work all that well. There's something about the way that Daria is animated that lends itself to the extremely unimpressed and sarcastic persona she has. If an actual actress was doing it, it wouldn't land right. Also, Daria is very much a show of the 90s. I don't think the whole tone of it is really right for the 2020s. If I could sum up the sentiment of Daria, it's kind of, everything is completely fine and comfortable and easy, but I resent a lot of it because it's all so fake and superficial and stupid and pointless. Nothing is genuine and everyone's going along with it, and that's not okay, slash stupid, slash mildly contemptible. That attitude very much made a lot of sense in the 90s, especially to a lot of teenagers, and seemed kind of forward thinking and insightful at that time, and it kind of was. Nowadays, though we've lost a lot of the backdrop of everything is completely fine and comfortable and easy, against which that mild rebellion was directed, now we live in a pretty surface level dystopia, and someone like Daria seems a lot less cool and smart and cynical in our context, to the point where it's more like, yeah, we all know, the world freaking sucks. We get it, you're not really that smart, we're not idiots like you think we are, we're just tired and trying to survive. In our world, Daria would seem like the kind of person who's looking around with a smug look on her face, going, see, see, I told you all it was bad, and everyone's like, yeah, duh, STFU. I think this point is so crucial to the argument of why Daria is a piece exclusive to its time. It's not because of the pop culture, or the technology, or because certain morals and issues are more applicable to that time period, it's because Daria was thought-provoking in her attitude at this time. 
To capitalize on the mysterious Mr. Enter meme, this show came out before 9-11. All five seasons did. While that's not terribly important, at least by itself, when you think about the US not really being in any significant wars in the late 90s, the economy was at one of its highest point, with some of the lowest unemployment rates, it almost begs the question, what is there to be so miserable about? But that's why Daria as a character is so captivating and relatable. She's not miserable, she's just not like them. Daria just feels a lot of things done by her peers and by society are a bit superficial and forced, and she also seems to have a bit of anxiety, and has trouble making herself vulnerable. She counters the culture of this time with her attitude, whereas in the 2020s, you can ask about war and the response would be which one. Inflation is on the rise, employment levels are sporadic, there is a pandemic, so... When this comment says from Daria, see, see, I told you it was all bad, it makes a lot of sense. Daria is still revolutionary, but her feelings don't apply as much to our current climate because there's a lot more legitimate reasons to feel dread and to call out BS. I think a lot of people are just tired. There's a lot to be tired about. One of the last comments I want to talk about in response to my question of why people think this reboot should or should not exist is the user RCAD69 says in response to my question, Not now. In a few decades. When the world is doing better. Manifesting. Heart. And this isn't on the same post that I was reading before, but in a way, it kind of proves its point. The world isn't ready for a Daria reboot because Daria stood to point out flaws in a system that appeared perfect. Or at least, really good. Now that we see all these flaws, we need a new source to look to, while still recognizing and remembering Daria. We can end this topic the same way Daria ends her final speech to the school, as it's still relevant. My advice is, stand firm for what you believe in, until and unless logic and experience prove you wrong. Remember, when the Emperor looks naked, the Emperor is naked. The truth and a lie are not sort of the same thing, and there's no aspect, no facet, no moment of life that can't be improved with pizza. Thank you. I think I'm gonna have some pizza now. I'd love to hear what you think. Where do you stand on if Daria should have a reboot or spin-off or whatever? Do you have an idea for a sequel? Just keep it respectful and chill. That's all I ask. You know, my opinion on this has changed multiple times, so just be nice, you know. My answer is personally, I don't see the need for any more Daria, but it's one of my favorite shows ever, so I'll definitely give whatever comes out, if it still does ever come out, a chance. And no matter what comes out, I think the original is really neatly preserved. Even if the reboot is the worst thing ever, I feel like we can still spin that into being part of the genius of Daria in that commercialization and reboots can't capture the magic. I don't really look at reboots and spin-offs of other shows to affect the legacy or preservation of those shows, so I think we could do the same thing with Daria, potentially. So hey, let's be optimistic, it's a win-win maybe. Alright, I want some pizza, I, got, I gotta go, bye. Eat up!